Hey everyone, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Moyu Outrong WRM. So this is the latest upgrade to Moyu's Outrong W... Wait, what was it? G GTS... Um, whatever their latest 4x5 was, this is the upgrade to that, or supposedly the upgrade. So let's just go ahead and see how this actually performs. Alright, so we have the cube, and then also typical of a lot of puzzles these days, we have an accessories box. So let's just go ahead and see what it comes with. Alright, so we've got these just extra cards, like Muyu pictures and stuff like that, and also instructions that no one ever reads or uses. Um, we have a screwdriver and also spare magnets, which is just really nice to have. Um, you know, you never know what could happen, so it's good to have these just in case. All right, and now for the cube. Um, right off the bat, it feels just a little bit smaller than the um, GTS M. I think it's like just a one millimeter difference. It doesn't feel that much smaller, um, but you can definitely tell that there is a difference. Um, I guess just first off aesthetically, the GTS M just feels a little bit more bubbly. Um, the pieces are a lot more raised, whereas the WRM is a lot flatter. Um, and also the shades are different too. Um, green is a bit more saturated and a little bit darker on the WRM. Red is a little bit lighter, blue is the same. Orange is a bit brighter, more fluorescent. Yellow is the same, and white is of course the same. Um, so overall, I actually really like these shades uh, much more. They feel just a little bit more realistic, but let's just go ahead and see how this thing actually turns. Alright, so before I say anything else, um, I definitely like this way, way better than the Outron GTSM. Um, I mean, it could be just because I've used this for so long that it's really, really broken in and kind of worn down. Um, but immediately, I can just tell that this is much, much faster. Um, it's, it still holds that same characteristic of having that really buttery smooth feeling. You can also hear in the turning too. It still has that kind of unique buttery smoothness of the Outrong. It's just that this one is a little bit less crispy and it feels a little bit more stable than the older GTSM. So another thing I'm noticing too is that the speed on the WRM version seems a bit more consistent compared to the GTSM version. Um, the outer layers just move really fast and they're not really sticking to the inner layers or just kind of being dragged along. And with the inner layers, the speed is equally as fast as the outers. Um, so compared to the GTSM version, the inner layers are definitely just a bit more noticeably slower than the outers. And the outer layers are just sort of sticking and gumming up next to the inner layers. So it just takes a little bit to get used to just sort of separating layers evenly and just kind of turning it however you would. Um, so it could be an issue of just me having used this for so long and just kind of the puzzle itself being really, really broken in and broken down and worn in. Um, so, I mean, who knows, maybe that's just the case of having a newer cube. And another thing to make note of is that the GTSM has the thicker layers, whereas the WRM outer layers are a bit more equal in size. Um, so you can see this thickness on the GTSM version. It just helps you grip the outer layers a bit more easily. Um, for me, this isn't really going to be a problem without having that on the WRM, um, but just something good to know in case you guys have a problem getting used to that. So corner cutting, wow, that's actually really good. It's doing a lot better than I expected. It's sort of like doing 45 on a three by three. It's going really far and super easily. Reverse, around half a piece typical of any other five by five speed cube. So the magnets on this are definitely noticeable. But if you're just turning and just sort of solving the cube, then it's not going to slow you down. The magnets are just there to help you um, stabilize and control the cube itself. So it's going to do a really great job just in terms of helping you control the puzzle, even though this puzzle is so innately fast. Um, so yeah, all in all, this cube is checking all the boxes. Performance is great, speed is nice but controllable, feeling is super enjoyable, and lockups don't really seem to be an issue right now. 
So I'm definitely not going to go as far as to say that this is the newest and latest and greatest 5x5 on the market right now. Um, it's just that it really caters to a different audience of 5x5 cubers. Um, you know, if you like the Outron GTSM, then go for the WRM. This one feels a bit more refined and slightly upgraded. Um, and it has a different feeling compared to the Volk 5M, which is also a really popular 5x5 too. Um, this one just feels slightly more crunchy. Um, it holds the same buttery smoothness, but it has a slight crispiness that's actually really enjoyable. Um, and again, it has a sort of compact size, so if you have smaller hands, go for the Outron WRM. So if you guys are interested in picking up this cube, then go ahead and check out speedcubeshop.com and feel free to use my discount code TCK on all your orders. But yeah, so that's going to do it for this unboxing. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But I'll see you guys in the next video.